Hello beautiful souls, it's Karen at Soul Magic 99 and today we're here with a reading What does Divine Masculine want his Divine Feminine to know this time? <clears throat> I just want to say a really big thank you for everyone who watched my video yesterday amazing viewers and an increase in subs and I'm very very happy and very grateful for, for all your support and as I say my birthday is coming up on the 8th of September and it would really mean so much to me if I could get to 2,000 subs by that day. And as I said, once I do, whether it's on my birthday or not, I hope it is. But if not, there's a giveaway. There's two free readings up for grabs and a deck of my design up for grabs for three lucky winners. But you need to share, like, subscribe and comment. So please keep doing that. That'd be really great. I really appreciate it. So let's go on with the reading. So three piles. Pile one. Pile two. And pile three. I've no idea what these stones are, but um, pick your pile and we will get on with your reading. Hello, pile one. You chose this stone. So let's get the tarot messages. So we have the six of coins. Eight of Cups, Six of Swords, Page of Coins, The Sun, Ace of Cups, The Hierophant, Queen of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. <clears throat> so with the Six of Coins, I feel, Six of Pentacles, I feel that he does want to be more generous. And it's not just, maybe before he wasn't that generous with his time, spending time with you. And I don't think it's just about finance, financial generosity. I do feel it's about sharing time. Because one or both of you walked away with the eight cups from this connection. Um, because at the time, <clears throat> you know, things weren't working. You weren't on the same page for whatever reason. Obviously, it's different for everybody. Um, and he's also walked away, um, moved away from the past now as well with the Six of Swords. And this isn't just about the connection he had with you. This is connections he had maybe <clears throat> with a partner family situations okay these were holding him back before and he's now moving forward he's moving away from that and he's worked on that you know disconnecting from those energies and just wanting to move forward away from the past which is all positive positive. and with the page of coins <clears throat> i do feel he wants to have a communication with you at some point and you know make you some sort of offer um with regards meeting up again, I feel some sort of communication because you are his son. You bring out the sun in his life and it's only sometimes when you lose something that you realise how much it means to you. And after you disconnected, he realised how much you actually meant to him because we have the Ace of Cups here and he does want to offer you that. He wants to offer you his love. You know, he has all this emotion for you now, okay? And he wants to make this offer of love because he's been doing some spiritual work. We've got the Hierophant here. And he may be a traditional man as well that maybe has come from that sort of traditional background. And, you know, he's had to learn, you know, he's learning new aspects of spirituality. I feel he could see you as a Queen of Swords at the moment. He may find that it's hard to approach you at this time. But we've got the Ace of Pentacles, you know, new beginnings, you know, he does want this new beginning with you. But with the Ace of Swords, as you can see, she has her sword across her heart. She's protecting herself, which is understandable if you've been hurt in this situation. So if you do want your masculine to come forward to you, soften your energy, you know, release any hurt feelings or anger, work on yourself, you know, send him love, send him healing. Um... 
if that's what you want because if you hold on to these resentments and anger you know it'd be difficult for him to come forward so what else yeah he's got a higher knowing now he's as i said he's been doing the spiritual work he's seeing things from a different perspective and he's been working on self-love i don't think he had much self-love in the relationship he had before possibly he wasn't really treated that well and he just lost all respect for himself because his partner maybe didn't have any respect for him and he wants to get to know you you know he wants to get to know you properly you know start again he's never felt like this before about anyone he wants you to know that okay and there's been a lot of sadness you know he's felt a lot of sadness over the way he's treated you in this situation okay and not just that sadness over his what's happened in the past because with the Hierophant, I feel he was quite a traditional guy. He was possibly somebody that married somebody and he wanted it to be for life and that commitment was for life. And when these things don't work out, it can be very upsetting and traumatic for anybody, but especially if you're somebody who is very loyal and has been a good partner and very trustworthy, can create that. And he's got questions in his mind, you know, he's still trying to work out what exactly he does want to do moving forward, okay, which is only natural, you know, to make those decisions before you move forward. <laughs> Talking natural, animalistic sexual urges. So, yeah, he's got, you know, sexual urges. He's thinking of you in that sexual way at this time. He's missing that. If you were intimate before, he's really missing that side of the relationship, but it's not just about that for him. He's feeling rebellious. He feels constricted, confined and caged. So maybe there could be some restrictions in his life at this time, which is preventing him from moving forward towards you at this time. Maybe he's trying to finalise a divorce or settlement to do with children and, and visitation rights. And he doesn't want to bring another person into the mix because obviously some people can be really awkward about things like that. And he's keeping himself busy with work. He's distracting himself with work at this time. So if you think he's out there having a good time, partying and that, it doesn't seem like it to me. It seems like he's just focusing on his work at the moment and he's consumed by his work because it's the only way that he can get through the day. He wants you to know, I don't want to live without you in my life anymore. You are all I think of and I'm haunted by your presence. I long to be with you. I love the sound of your voice, I hear you speak with me telepathically and in dreams, and I long to talk with you again. Nothing and no one can compare to you. My heart aches for you, you are the love of my life. My friends keep telling me I made a big mistake in letting you go, and I want to fix things between us, I just don't know how to make things right at this time. My mind is in turmoil trying to figure out how I can fix the mess I made. I'm suffering from sleepless nights and feeling very low and anxious. You were in my dreams again last night and I always dream of you every night. You are my ultimate fantasy. <clears throat> he wants true intimacy, knowing you, knowing me, sharing all the secrets, the highs and the lows. I love you. I give you my heart. I trust you with my heart to keep it safe, to cherish it forevermore. So he has realised that you are someone that he can trust with his heart. Okay, so let's get a few final messages. Got some soulmate messages here. See what else. We are eternally blessed by profound love, by a sacred union, with a great source of light whose love moves the earth and the stars. So he's had some realization over what this connection is, I feel. Okay, let's just get some final messages from you. Some final messages for pile one, please, from the masculine. feel your energy if you're sad or angry with me i feel it and it keeps me at a distance because it affects me too that's just what i was saying about the queen of swords energy because you are so connected you know he is feeling it and vice versa so you know if you want him to come forward you know just soften your energy okay i just want to be able to spend time with you and get to know you intimately so that came up before didn't it he definitely wants to get to know you 
in a much deeper way. Finance is a huge concern for me at this time. I don't feel like I have the ability to offer you what you deserve just yet. So yeah, he's working on that. And But we saw the Ace of Pentacles. So I do feel things are going to improve for your person. Okay. Um, let's get a final message. Yeah, I'm working on my career to improve my finances so I can offer you stability. So like I said, he's working hard. He's focusing on his work at this time. Okay, because he wants to come forward with something to a solid offer for you and he doesn't want to feel that he's lacking in any way. So there your message is pile one. Hope that resonated. Hello pile two, you chose this stone, <clears throat> the blue colour. So let's get your tarot. We have seven of pentacles. Eight of cups. Seven of Cups, Nine of Cups, a lot of Cups here, Knight of Wands, Queen of Cups, the Moon, Page of Swords, the Emperor, Four of Cups, Six of Swords, Seven of Swords, and the Justice. Wow, there's a lot of Cups here. <clears throat> so seven of pentacles again somebody who's working on their finances they're trying to build up resources at this time and we've got the eight of cups and if we had the moon card come up as well somewhere the moon and there's a moon in this card and today is a new moon in leo so that could be significant okay again the eight of cups is when you walk away possibly you or your person walked away from this connection okay at some point Okay, but I do feel that the moon today is significant in this connection. You know, he's been fantasizing, he's been having thoughts about the sort of life he could have with you, and you've been in his dreams a lot, and you've been in his mind a lot, basically. And we have the Nine of Cups. So he sees you and as somebody who's doing very well on their own, who's filled up their own cup, you know, he, he doesn't see that possibly you even need him anymore. He feels that you're quite happy in your independence. He sees that, which is a good thing, you know, but there's so many cups here. And then we've got the Knight of Wands. So this, I think, is your masculine. That's a uh, fire. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or it could be in his chart. But he wants to rush forward with passion. You know, he's feeling the passion, the sexual energy towards you very um, strong and he sees you as the queen of cups he sees you as somebody who's very you know nurturing loving full of emotion somebody that has that cup you know cup of love to offer and he has the passion to offer as i say with the moon you know sometimes the moon is like it is a feminine energy and this could be a pull for him right now because we've got the new moon today this could you know, enhance his desire and feelings towards his feminine at this time, okay? And with the Page of Swords, I do feel he does want to give you some clarity, some truth. You know, he does want to share that. He's probably coming to some clarity himself. And he does feel he wants to share that with you at some point. And we've got the Emperor here. So he's been working on himself, you know, to become this Emperor, to become the man that you truly deserve because he may have walked away before because he didn't feel worthy he didn't feel he deserved somebody like you for whatever reason and he's been working on himself and i see these scrolls in his hand i do feel he's been learning he's been you know undertaking spiritual lessons or receiving messages from the universe to help him move forward in in this connection because you know there was upset, you know, upset, lack of feeling of any connection or love. And, you know, he failed to realise that there were cups still standing. And there was still an offer on the table, but he didn't see that. He wasn't looking there. But just disappointment and upset over a love situation. And he's moving on, you know, he's moving on from the past now. He may have been connected. Again, we've got the moon. So he may have been moving on you know, from past situations. He may have been hanging on to past situations or people 
<clears throat> when he met you and that could have been difficult for him to you know get involved with somebody else and now he's actually moving away from that past situation into the future and we have seven of swords so yeah there was a lot of possible deception or trickery going on he didn't feel he could maybe be honest about his situation um and he wants to come clean you know with the page of swords he wants to come clean he wants to be honest about what happened there and then we got justice he wants justice for you too he wants you both to have that justice in your life because he feels that you both deserve it now he feels ready now <clears throat> so let's see what else is going on with him yeah he's missing you he's craving you you know we saw that with the knight of wands that energy He's, you know, you're meeting up in the astral and the 5D for love and sexual shenanigans. He's had a lot of anger. He's had pent up feelings in the past over past situations. And that held him back. And the two of you may not have had any contact in this time apart. There may not have been any 3D contact. But as I say, you were connecting on the 5D. And he's missing you so much. I mean, he's missing you more than he thought he would, actually. And he's been going through a dark night of the soul um, because of karma, what happened in the past, okay? But it's, it's taught him lessons which he needed to learn. And he was triggered, you know. We had the five of cups there, uh, uh, eight of cups. He was triggered at some point in the past, and so he did a run out. He's had past life memories, you know, um, when you've connected in a sexual way. He's seen past lives of you and him together, which he didn't understand for a long time. And he wonders if you put a spell on him because he can't get you out of his mind. Yeah, we've got that passion again. Passionate desire, intense lust. He's feeling, but he's holding himself back at this time. And he just misses that sensuality as well, just cuddling, intimacy, closeness with you. And he feels that you're opposite, but you attract each other and you're complementary, the yin and the yang. Because we saw that in the tarot, we have the wands and we have the cups, you know, fire and water, which are like opposites, aren't they? But that can be the most passionate connection. And he's captivated by you, he's mesmerised in love, awestruck by you. You know, he can't get you out of his mind. So what does he want to say? Have you dated other people since we last met? I'm curious. Did you connect to them the way we did? Do you feel my heartbeat in the silence? Do you feel my kisses upon your lips, my breath on your neck as you sleep, my love? Every night when I go to bed, I tell you I love you in the 5D. I want it to be the 3D. So we saw that earlier. You're connecting in the 5D. My head says no to this connection, but my heart, body and soul says yes, yes, yes. So he really wants to be reconnected. It just feels like destiny, the fact that we met. It's a miracle to me considering our differences. So you may have come from very different backgrounds. I did not understand our connection. I tried to deny it over and over again. Yeah, he was trying to deny any, any connection with you. I'm finding it difficult to forgive myself for the way I treated you. So he's been beating himself up about the way things ended as i say we had the eight of cups there and i feel that was him walking away from this connection sweet sweet love passion saw together we become one so together the passion was off the charts as we get to know each other my feelings grow for you you're so special to me i've never met anyone like you so yeah i mean that could have been part of the confusion you know you may never have met anybody quite like you before and didn't know what to make of you really so let's get a soulmate message from him every loving thought is a seed of love sometimes the seed sprouts instantly and other times it lies dormant for a while the timing doesn't really matter. Love always grows into greater love. So I feel it doesn't matter how long you're apart. Sometimes when you are apart, that love does grow. It still grows, okay, because it's a divine connection. Let's get some final messages for you. 
pile two. What's he want to say, please? I was so instantly consumed by the passionate soul pull, I mistook our connection for pure lust. But after all this time, the desire has just intensified and lust dies out faster. So yeah, that could be part of the reason he walked away. He just felt it was just a lustful connection and he didn't realise there was more to it. I know my silence has been deadly and I killed our special connection through being paralysed in fear. So for this part, you, you could have had no contact for some time. Um... And he's admitting that, you know, that it could have killed this connection. I hope you can forgive me. My silence has caused us both so much pain. So, yeah, if you want to see him and connect, obviously send him that on the 5D. I'm working up the courage to tell you how I feel. So it does feel like he's going to come forward at some point to try and resolve this. So if you want that to happen, feminines... Just soften your energy, just send in messages telepathically that you're open to having a meet-up and, and a connection. Okay, part two, there are your messages. I hope that resonated. Many blessings. Hello, part three, you chose this stone. The tarot, we've got the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Swords. Nine of Wands. Four of Cups, King of Pentacles, Death Card, World Card, Hanged Man, The Lovers, Ten of Swords, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. So a lot of Pentacles in this, so it could be Earth signs in this pile, watching this. Taurus Virgo Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, you know, she is somebody that has it all together. She's very grounded, she's nurturing, you know, she's, you know, a good mom figure, you know, like the mother figure, and she's got it all together. And the Queen of Swords is the air sign, so there could be air signs here. Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. And you are very logical, very much in your head rather than in your heart situation. And with the Nine of Wands, you know, there's been a burden here, you know, very much a burden. Somebody feels they've been carrying quite a burden for some time. And also upset over love, you know, Four of Cups, you know, disappointment, upset over love. And then we've got the King of Pentacles. So we've got the King and Queen here, so there's counterparts here. And the King of Pentacles obviously is a solid, you know, king. He's a man, you know, he's stable, he's, you know, grounded, he's emotionally, financially secure, you know, he knows what he wants and he goes for it, but he might be a bit, you know, steady and slow at, at going for it, if you know what I mean. And then we got the death card. So, you know, there could have been an ending um of a situation you know and endings are always followed by new beginning and that was followed by the world so i do feel whatever the ending was obviously if it was your connection the world to me is about new beginnings a new cycle in your life you know being out the world opens up basically but then that's followed by the hanged man so even though there was a new beginning and there's more opportunities opening up the world is opening up in general isn't it, at the moment there's still a pause here uh, because somebody is thinking about this before taking the next step forward. But the next step forward is the lovers. So he does want to reconnect and, you know, be lovers with you. He does feel that pull to be your lover. We've got the Ten of Swords here. So I do feel there was like really painful times. There's been sleepless nights, depression, anxiety, Um and I do feel that was a past situation. Again, the Five of Pentacles as well. You know, a feeling of lack, a feeling of not having enough. But then we have the Six of Pentacles. So there's been an upturn in the finances. And the Nine of Cups is like the Wish Fulfillment card. And having all that you desire. And I feel that's why the masculine feels that he can now, you know, make that move forward. Okay. 
So where else has he been out? We've got to stop and smell the roses. So he's been living in the moment. He's not been looking back at the past, but he's had a fear of love, okay? And that could have been um, to do with the Four of Cups, okay? He could have just, you know, not felt capable of that at that time. But he felt the explosive passions between you. You know, you could have been intimate and it could have been, like, amazing. He's been upset, he's been missing you, but he didn't understand what's going on, you know, with this connection. But he wants to be back in your arms, he wants to hold you and kiss you again. He he can't explain why, he can't explain why, but it was possibly because of the fear of love. And maybe you agreed to just be friends at that time rather than lovers, but now he wants to be lovers, he wants to be friends and lovers, he wants to have that proper relationship. Because he's been through the dark night of the soul. We had that with the... Um, plus the card now. Ten of Swords. So yeah, he went through the dark night of the soul. He possibly is still working on that. And he's been getting signs from Spirit about the you and this connection, okay? Which has made him realise, you know, a bit more about this. And that's why there was an ending. And there's going to be a new beginning. But there's a bit of a pause on that at the moment. So what else? Yeah, he's been hurt, upset, emotional, distraught. I think he hurt himself, you know, when he disconnected from you because he had a fear of love. He felt he was getting too close. And he hurt himself, and he's beating himself up about that, really. Yeah, he's sorry. He's feeling apologetic. He's empathetic now, remorseful regrets over the way he treated you. Okay? So he may, when he comes forward, he may come forward with an apology. He may be manipulative in the past as well, um, controlling behaviour, because he had a fear of love and he had to be in control of the situation. He didn't want to let himself freely go. He wanted to be in charge of what was happening. Hurtful, vengeful, immature. Maybe you had some sort of disagreements, some arguments that were quite childish, you know, and he didn't see the bigger picture at that time. And again, that's where the apology comes in. But he wants a new beginning. He wants a commitment. His heart is now open. He's feeling more brave, okay? So this dark night of the soul may have triggered him to do a lot of inner work. As I say, he's been getting signs from spirit as well. He's been working on himself and he wants that wish fulfillment with you. He wants that new beginning. So what does he want to say? I want to kiss you again and again. The feel and taste of your lips is intoxicating to me, together with your scent and the feel of your hair, I'm aroused once more. Please know I'm so ashamed of the way I treated you, that's why I feel it's difficult for me to face you right now. But I want to come forward and apologise, that's what I was just saying, you know, he wants to apologise, he knows that he did wrong. My love for you is as deep as the ocean, as wide as the sky, as high as a mountain, it's never ending till the end of time. What is it that you see in me? You could have anyone. I know how other people desire you. When we met, you had lots of other connections and I was jealous. I never told you. So maybe he saw you with lots of other connections and he didn't feel he could compete and that's maybe why he decided it wasn't for him at that time. You have a light around you and I cannot see it, but I sense it strongly. Is that what they call an aura? I close my eyes and you're there. Your beauty, your sensuality, your sexuality overwhelms me. When I'm working, I suddenly hear your voice in my head and the moans of pleasure you made when we made love and I find myself getting aroused. Each night before I go to sleep, I hold you in my arms, I kiss you. Some mornings I wake to sexual feelings. Is that you thinking of me while you play with yourself and I want to join in, but I want the real thing. So he's missing that sexual intimacy. The closeness of you does something to me. I just want to be held in your arms all night long. The strong chemistry, a pull back to you no matter what I do. So yeah, he's got that pull back to you, whatever he does. And he's realised, you know, with the lover's card that there is more to this than he thought. Okay. And he does want to come forward with an apology. So again, you know, soften your energy to allow him to come forward. Let's see a message from him.
You are always in my heart, like a glowing ocean light, a shimmering star in heaven. Love is a golden memory, drifting through space like autumn leaves. Recollections of loving days and nights. So that's beautiful. So he's got those beautiful memories, the time you spent together. So let's get some final messages. Final messages for pile three, please. What does he want to say to his feminine? I know that you are angry with me for ignoring you. I am frustrated with myself. Why can't I communicate with you? I've never felt the way I feel about you with anyone else. I was yours immediately. I want to romance you and spoil you rotten because you deserve it. If it wasn't for the circumstances, I would have married you the first day we met. I was that sure about you and I just wanted my soul spouse back. So you could have had flashbacks of lives you had. With one more look you made me believe in love how is that even possible but he had you know he says that but he had that fear of love as well okay he had that fear of love and you know that could have caused him to run so there are your messages pile three so i hope that resonated please like share subscribe comment and i will see you in my next video many blessings take care